Okay, so we're looking at um, mixed exercise six from the first year textbook, first year core textbook. So we've got two circles um, and we need to show that P lies on this third circle here. Okay, so, so P is not the circle, P is the center of this circle. So just threw me a bit whilst I was trying to read that. Okay, so question four, making a part A. Um, okay, so the first thing is, let's, let's state what P is. So they've told me that P is the center of this circle. So that means P is eight, eight, the center of that circle. Um, so I therefore need to just show that P lies on this circle. Okay, um, that's not too much of a problem. So uh, this is almost seems just a test that you're reading the question carefully and using the correct equation. So then I've got this circle and I just need to show that P does lie on it. So best way to do that is to substitute P in. So X is eight and Y is eight and just check that that does give me a 106. So that's going to be, that's going to be nine squared plus five squared. So, so every single stage of working, just still on the safe side. So that does work. So therefore we have shown that P lies on this circle. Okay, all right. And then I think, yeah, B isn't really related to that. So find the length of PQ. Yeah, so I think they're really just testing that you've got all these key skills and you're reading the questions carefully so uh, so we've already said that p is 8 8 q is the center of this circle so that's going to be minus 1 3 so the magnitude of the line pq is going to be so basically i'm just doing the distance between those two points so 8 minus minus 1 squared plus 8 minus um Five, sorry, eight minus three squared. Just throw me, because this is gonna give me 106 again, I think. So I'm just wondering, I know it's gonna be root 106. Just wondering why it's, it seems to relate to that one. Okay, never mind. So nine squared uh, plus five squared. So PQ is root 106. Uh, yeah. Very good. 